So I've been playing around with VS2's new add-on Clockwork. No, 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 no. Because now it has officially been released to the public, and they have been making some amazing creations. But nothing will prepare you. For in this video, I steal a house with a helicopter in Minecraft. But before we do that, let's try and build a car. First, I built a chassis. Then, I stuck on these new blocks called physics bearings. More on them a bit later. I laid down the skeleton of the wheel and used gear shifts to develop a rudimentary turning system. Just look at it in action. Then I came up with the brilliant idea to use the redstone resistor, a new block from Clockwork, that allows you to control the speed of your rotation based on your redstone input. So I thought it'd be a perfect block to create a break from. But then I realized I was using toggle latches, when I should have been using powered latches to create a more natural control scheme. Let's go forward. Putting a gear shift here will allow me to reverse the polarity and go backwards, as you can see here. I scaled up the wheels a bit so that they could actually roll. And finally, I placed down a physics infuser, followed by blooper glue so that I can set what to infuse the physics into. But then I had to change the shape of the wheel so that they would actually connect. And now we finally physify our creation. It broke all the redstone. Then I activated the physics bearings. Would you like mechanical bearings? But they have physics. It's like a transformer. I tried gluing the wheels together, but for some reason they just wouldn't stick. And then I realized it's because there was air between them. So I had to redesign them with fences in the middle. And I did that for each and every wheel. Now it was finally time to test out our new creation. And... Go! Uh, it turns out it just needed a bit more power. And once I did that... Damn it! And we were off to the races! Yes, a real working car in Minecraft! Look how it uses physics to go up the block like real life! Now we're gonna turn left. I can't even go backwards too, bro. Look at that! Woohoo! And then forwards! I mean, look how cool that is! I'm riding a car in Minecraft that I built! It's using physics! Look at it go! Oh, and then we go left. And then we go back. Put a little pig there. Let it enjoy a little ride. Off you go, little buddy. Oh, he's got it. 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 He's having the time of his life right now. Look at him go. Oh, and then we'll turn him around and put him straight back. Isn't he going straight for that cow? Wait, 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 wait. I'll join you, buddy. <laughs> We're gonna go on an adventure. Look at that. Look how cool that is, bro. Oh, he fell. I guess it's it for our car adventure. Hopefully one day we will meet again in the stars. Liking the video so far? You do? Then consider subscribing. Hey, wait! I've always wanted to steal a house, but to do that, I needed an adequate vehicle. That's when I came across Endel, who created one of the most craziest contraptions I've ever seen. A fully working double rotor helicopter. Built for airlifting other ships, this thing runs on pure black magic using the add-on Valkyrian computers and computer craft. Don't even get me started on the complexities of the code. The actual winch is from Valkyrian Tournament, an add-on which, among other things, has working rope physics. But I didn't want to take the easy way out. I wanted to try and make my own design based on a unique feature where ships can be stuck together using the sticker from the crate mod. But there was one problem. 
The damn thing just did not work, and I spent hours trying to figure out what went wrong. Then I realized it's because I was rotating something the wrong way. Think about it, I spent hours and hours trying to fix a problem that was solved by turning a crank the other way around. So I turned it the right way around, and it flew beautifully. Great. Now with the helicopter in fully functioning order, we can get started on creating a new winch. So I landed the helicopter on a platform that I made in order to work underneath it. I started with a physics bearing to work as a hinge and using cannon barrels from the Create Cannons mod as a shaft, followed by our magic sticker. I tried using a gear shift to control the position, but it would stop working after the sequence had finished. Now as it is, it would just wind it up and release it. But then I came up with the idea to use a piston to stop it before it comes down, disengaging the piston when I want to activate the winch. And just like that, when I push this button, it pulls it up, and the piston catches it. And when I press it again, it releases it and it falls down, because it is a physics object after all. Now it was time to steal a house, and I found the perfect one. You just have to seal him in, put a bit of blooper glue, and then fissify his house. Look, he's still in there. Now we take our chopper, and claim our prize. I managed to get the helicopter above the house, but something was awry. One of the walls I made got stuck on the pylon, so I had to break it to release it, but it was just aesthetic anyway. And now it was time to latch on just like the simulations. And we got a hook, and it's heaving, it's heaving, and boom. We got it boys, it's off the ground, and in our control. Let's check on him. Oh, he's still inside. Time to take him on a little journey, if you know what I mean. So I flew across to the next village, cause I thought it was a better home, at least compared to his old one. And now, overhead the village, we were ready and in position to do the final honor. To see the fruits of our labor, and to put him where he belongs. And... Go. With the payload still intact, this was a mission success. Though I wasn't able to land the house straight, I decided let's give him a proper send-off. I apologize for what I'm about to do. And be gone! Sick trick. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. And if you want to do what I did, or at least figure out how to do it, then join the VS2 Discord server down below. Anyways, toodaloo.